Well, dealing with fog this morning, but also the aftermath of last night's storms, leaving behind some pretty significant damage overnight. Tree damage, localized flooding, and power outages all a main concern this morning. 13 on your side's Trevier Gonzalez is live in Northeast Kent County with more on the fallout. Trevier, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, guys. We're we're along Young Avenue here in Cannon Township, where this tree here is completely split off and really is affecting traffic here. Uh, of course, it is a rural area, but this just goes to show kind of the the strength of what this has really done here. Uh, you can see it's completely enveloping, even going past this lane here. Uh, we've got some cars covering us so that we're safe, but uh, yeah, it's definitely kind of the, a small taste of what that damage has been like uh, in many of these kind of rural parts. And as we continue to see what those winds and uh, and rains ended up doing over here. Uh, we ended up seeing that the storms knocked out power to several thousand in this area, but we have seen consumers making progress, restoring power to a few thousand overnight. But if we zoom out on that consumers outage map, you'll see it's not the only area that has been impacted. We also see Hudsonville, Jenison, East Grand Rapids, and up in New Wago County, all dealing with power outages this morning. And New Wago, along with Macosta County, also dealing with damage. This is what it looked like last night on Island View Drive near Petite Lane. Some areas got as much as four inches of rain in just a few hours, leading to some localized flooding. Now, because of this, there was a flood warning that was issued for New Wago as well as Macosta County, but those things have since expired. As you guys had said, it's probably going to be fog. That really is the name of the game. Uh, visibility has been tough over here. Even trying to find this has been a little bit difficult, uh, but once again, Again, definitely want to go a little bit slower and just be mindful of what is on the road too because that's something that definitely affected me uh, coming into here. So be mindful of things like this because this can make your day a lot more difficult. But for now, we're live here in Kent County. Trivia Gonzalez, 13 on your side.